This could very well turn out to be my favorite mini PC of 2024, given the fact that we've got a super small form factor 1.4 liter micro PC with a Ryzen 7 7840U. This thing is awesome. What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Minus Forum EM780, and this is one that I've been waiting on for a while now. I took a look at the EM680 last year, which was powered by the Ryzen 7 6800U, but we've got a nice upgrade here with the EM780 because this is actually using the Ryzen 7 7840U, so we've got Zen 4 cores and RDNA 3 graphics. Basically, we've got a super tiny palm-sized 1080p gaming PC here, and this actually puts down much better performance than I thought. We've got a lot to go over and test in this video, but before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD Keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple of years now. They do offer Steam Keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office, but the main reason that I use URCD Keys is for their Windows Keys. Right now, their Windows 10 Pro OEM key is $19.84, but if you use code ETA at checkout, you can get 25% off. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate. And Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone. They'll email your code once your payment is processed. And that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. Right now, they're offering this in a couple different storage variants, but the RAM stays the same. 32 gigs of LP DDR5 at 6400 megatransfers per second. And just to give you an idea of the overall size, an Xbox controller is actually a bit bigger than the EM780. Inside of the box, along with this mini PC, we're also going to get a 65 watt power supply, USB type C cable. Minisform has also included a USB type C to Ethernet adapter. This also has USB type C input, so we're not going to really lose a port if we have to plug it in. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a built in Ethernet port, but we do get Wi Fi 6 right out of the box. Most of the time when we see these super tiny PCs, they are lacking I.O., but this actually has a lot built in. Up front, we've got USB 4 and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving around to the side here, micro SD card slot and a full size USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. And around back, we've got two more 3.2 Gen 2 ports, full size HDMI and another USB 4 port. With the way that Minus Forum has set this PC up, given the form factor, RAM is soldered to the board, but we can upgrade the SSD. Down here, we've got a 2230, and this will support up to a 2 terabyte. It's PCIe 4.0, really easy to get in here. Plus, you can see we've got a nice aluminum cooler with a fan for that SSD. And of course, when it comes to the overall specs of the new Minisform EM780, for the AP, we've got that AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. 8 cores, 16 threads, based on Zen 4, so we're going to see some awesome performance there. Base clock of 3.3 GHz and a boost up to 5.1. Along with this, we get the built-in AMD Radeon 780Mi GPU based on RDNA 3 with 12 CUs, and this will run it up to 2700 megahertz. Over on their website, right now they've only got the 32 gigabyte version listed, so you can pick this up with 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 at 6400 megatransfers per second, and you can also opt to either get 512 gigabytes of pre-installed storage or one terabyte. But remember, this SSD is replaceable and it'll support up to a two terabyte drive. It also has Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, and for this video, we're just gonna be using the pre-installed operating system, which just happens to be Windows 11. But if anybody wants to see Linux running on this, let me know what distro in the comments below, and I can definitely make another video. Since we've got full function USB 4 ports on this, we can actually use this in single cable operation mode. So for instance, if you have a monitor that has USB type C video in and power out, you can actually power this unit. The monitor that I have here will do up to 4K and 65 watt PD charging out. So all I need is that one cable that's gonna power the unit and send our video signal back. This is one of my favorite things about these mini PCs. And through my testing so far, we haven't gone over 65 watts. Remember, this does come included with a 65 watt charger, so you're gonna be good to go. As long as you could do up to that, and I'd say even in lower power mode, 45 watts out of your monitor, you should be able to run this little PC in single cable operation mode, no problem at all. 
I will be plugging this into my game capture in just a second, but I wanted to show off a little bit of gameplay here. I mean, this is some phenomenal performance. We've got Spider-Man Miles Morales at 1080p. FSR is set to performance, low settings, but we're right there at 60. Now we do have a few dips here and there, but since we've got that RDNA 3 based iGPU, this is putting out some amazing gaming performance, and a lot of the stuff can actually run it up to 1080p on this machine. Okay, so here we are, been up and running, got everything updated, and this thing is really quick. Very surprised by what this little thing can do. And the power profiles they have here are pretty awesome for the GPU and the CPU. Keeping that power low, but allowing, you know, enough to go to the GPU. And as you can see, we've got that 7840U, 32 gigs of LPDDR5 at 6400. And of course, we've got the Radeon 780M graphics. And from the BIOS, I've dedicated 8 gigs of VRAM. You can leave this at auto. Out of the box with this one, it was at 2. Uh, it'll allocate it if it needs it. But since we've got a lot of RAM here, I figured we'd just take it up. When it comes to TDP, I found that this is set at around 30 watts out of the box. We do have a boost up to 35. And uh, it's really because we've got a smaller PC. Now, I have tried upping the TDP. And it seems like it's kind of a hard lock there. Basically, in order to get more performance out of this, you will need to tweak the performance profile. But uh, real quick, I'll show you, we've got core temp. Here's our total package power. Stress that CPU out. You see this jumps up to around 28, and that's only because we're just stressing out the CPU right now. If we put a load on the GPU, you'll see this jump up, 31, 32, and while gaming, it does boost up to 35. We're just not putting a big enough load on this GPU right now. As you can see, those clocks aren't maxed out. But yeah, 35 watts, not bad. And I'm gonna leave this going for a second because one of the most impressive things that I saw here were the temperatures. It takes a while to get on up there. Um, this little thing is pretty cool. Now, once it hits about 80, that little fan does spin up a bit faster, but it doesn't sound like a jet engine. And of course, if we left this here for, let's say, 30 minutes, we could probably hit thermal throttle, but under everyday normal use, web browsing, 4K video playback, and even gaming, we're nowhere near thermal throttle. In fact, while gaming at 1080p on this, our average temps are around 72 degrees Celsius. So yeah, I was pretty impressed because we're not working with a huge PC here. This thing is super tiny. And speaking of everyday normal use, just give you a look here, a little bit of web browsing. We'll head over to Menace Forum's website, then we'll test out some 4K video playback. Uh, pretty image heavy. Let's go right over here. From their EM680 section, you'll see it's listed with the EM780. And uh, in fact, the EM680 was my favorite PC of 2023. So keep that in mind. It only had the 6800U, but given the form factor, portability, and performance that thing was putting out, I absolutely love it. But yeah, web browsing, not bad at all. We've got built-in Wi-Fi 6. Now we'll head over to YouTube. And from here, always want to make sure that we are at 4K. So we'll take it on up. Stats for nerds. Got our drop frames listed right here. And this thing trucks right through. And the whole unit is only pulling around 8 watts right now. We've got a 4K 60 HDR video. This does 4K video playback very, very well, even at those lower wattages. Next thing I wanted to show off here were some benchmarks that I ran. And this is holding up with the handhelds on the mark with that 7840U. 3D Mark Night Raid, 28,198. Fire Strike coming in with a 7,008. And finally, we've got Time Spy here. We scored a 3,192, and remember, all out in performance mode, this will boost up to 35 watts. So if we could take it up, which I do think that the cooler here could handle it, we could get a little more, especially out of something like Fire Strike and Night Raid. But these are synthetic benchmarks, and now it's time to check out some real-world gaming performance. And first up, we've got Forza Horizon 5, 1080p, medium settings. And you know, if you're into these iGPUs, you know that this game runs really well in a lot of them out there, especially the 780M. But this doesn't change the fact that we're getting this kind of performance out of a PC that fits in your palm. We actually got an average of 84 FPS with this game. Next up, we've got GTA 5, 1080p, normal settings, and I'm sure we could take some of these up to, you know, medium or even high on some of them because we got an average of 88 FPS with this game, and you'll see it jump over 100 FPS in some situations. 
So this is another one that's going to be really playable on this super tiny PC. Street Fighter 6, 1080p, low, we're at a constant 60 FPS, and if you take a look at Afterburner, we don't need to pull 30 or 35 watts with this game here, and our CPU temps are looking really good across the board, under 60 with this one, and the TDP does jump up to 28 watts every once in a while. Built-in benchmark for Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p medium, which is original settings from the menu. We got an average of 70 FPS. When it comes to Mortal Kombat 1 on these iGPUs, we do have to take the resolution down a little bit and add some FSR. So we're at 900p low with FSR set to performance, and you can see it's still dipping under 60. At 720 with FSR set to performance, we can run at a constant 60, but it really takes that resolution way down and it just doesn't look great. And the final game I wanted to show off here was Cyberpunk 2077. The developers, CD Projekt Red, have done a really good job getting this to work on all kinds of systems, especially these iGPUs. 1080p, low, FSR set to performance, we can get an average of 73 FPS out of Cyberpunk 2077. So you can definitely game on this mini PC for sure. Another thing I wanted to take a look at was total system power draw, because after all, energy does cost more in some places. I have this plugged into a kilowatt meter while doing all of my testing, and this is total draw from the wall, so everything that this little thing's pulling. At idle, we're right there at around 6 watts, actually 5.9. Average gaming in performance mode, up to around 41 watts, and the maximum that I could get this to pull while maxing out all 8 cores, 16 threads, and that 780M iGPU was 57 watts. Keep in mind, that's an extreme use case scenario. You're probably never going to see that kind of wattage, but I really like to stress this out to see, you know, the maximum that we can pull with this thing. And yeah, I mean, it's sitting really nice. Temps are looking great. Love the form factor here. And we're also seeing some amazing performance out of that 7840U. All in all, yeah, I would consider this a gaming PC, seeing that we can run a lot of stuff at 1080p. You might need to drop a few things down to 900p, but overall, that 780M does put out some amazing performance. And one more thing here. I know we saw this in my palm and next to an Xbox controller, but I wanted to show you it next to one of Menace Forum's other PCs. This is a newer one with an Intel chip. Still very small form factor, but the EM780 is dwarfed by this mini PC. I mean, this thing is absolutely tiny. So that's going to wrap it up for my first look at the EM780. I will have a couple more videos coming. I definitely want to do some eGPU testing. And if the interest is there, I will test out Steam. One thing I'd love to run on this is SteamOS, something very similar to what's running on the Steam Deck. If you want to see a video like that, let me know in the comments below. And it'd be really cool if you could hit that like button or think about subscribing so you know when I post the next one. I'll also leave some links to Menace Forum's website in case you want to learn a little more. Maybe pick one of these up. But like always... Thanks for watching.